Are you familiar with the male ping pong till you find a time slot for your meetings? Yes? Then find time might be very helpful to you. Let's have a look how find time works. Find time is integrated into Outlook. You find the feature in the ribbon in the group find time right here. If you can't find it, click right here on get add-ins, search for find time and add the feature. You can use find time to reply to an email with a meeting poll or add find time to a new email. Add all the mandatory participants right here. The people who are optional can be entered in CC. For the subject, use the meeting objective. Now click on find time. The right sidebar opens and you can set up your meeting poll. First, select how long the meeting will take. Further down, find time already suggests time slots for your meeting. In my case, I invited a person outside of my organization and Alina, a coworker. As you can see, find time already marks a whole day in red. That's because Alina is not free for the day. The red symbol shows that Alina is out of office. Here is a quick slide with all the different symbols and their meanings. The colors of a traffic light are easy. The symbol with an arrow on top is the person who is inviting, so in my case it's me. The underline symbol shows the mandatory people for the meeting. People outside of your organization can't be checked and are displayed in gray. Now you can select the different time slots you think are a good fit. By the way, you can also select time slots on different days. Click on next to add a location for your meeting. You can also specify if your meeting is a Teams meeting and set up the poll settings. For instance, if you want to get notified when someone replies to the poll. Schedule when attendees reach consensus means that find time automatically plans the meeting when there is consensus. With hold selected times in my calendar, find time blocks your selected time slots till you reach consensus and deletes those as soon as the meeting is planned. Further down, you can have a quick look on your selected time slots. Click on add to email to add the poll to your email. Now you can enter your message and send the email. As you can see, the time slots are blocked in my calendar. Let's have a look how this looks like for my coworker Alina. She got the email and by clicking on options, she can reply to the meeting poll. Next to yes and no, she can also select a preferred time slot. Alina can also add another option if none of the time slots fits her. Let's switch to the person outside of the organization. He can already see all the previous replies and can select his preferred time slots. Back in my Outlook, you can see that I already got notified about the replies. We reach consensus and find time automatically finalize the meeting. If you want, you can view the voting. Let's have another look at the calendar and as you can see, all the blockers are gone and only the finalized meeting is left. Find time also added the link to the Teams meeting. So it's that easy to find the perfect time slot for your next meeting. Next time, use find time.